In a previous video, we showed you how to get Ubuntu. In this video, if you had downloaded Ubuntu instead of the other methods such as purchasing a CD from Amazon or some other store or requesting a free CD, you will have you would have been downloading a huge ISO file. An ISO file is probably foreign to many people. But an ISO file is basically a convenient way to take the contents of a disk and archive it and, later, and burn it for later use, and also distribute it over the internet. It can be used to distribute legal software at times, like cracked versions of Windows and stuff, but many, many Linux distributions, and even Microsoft themselves, be, uh, store CD versions of software in ISO image formats, so it's very popular. So, in order to burn an ISO file, you need a specialized utility. You can't use a normal Windows utility or whatever utility you have. You have to purchase or download a utility. You can use Nero or some other popular titles, but unfortunately, not many people have Nero or want to pay for it. But there's a great open source project called Infra Recorder that you can get at Infra Recorder dot sourceforge.net and you can download the ISO, the ISO file and burn it with ease. So let's download the program itself which is an exe file for Windows. Note the other download options such as a portable version and ones for Windows 9X and ME where you will download it. And we are directed to the source for pa source forge page on info recorder site, and we can save the file, and it will start downloading it. Our previous thing, and actually we downloaded so fast. That was pretty fast. Now I have already actually installed it conveniently. You know, like those Food Network TV shows where they say, I'm going to start cooking this and it'll take about an hour, and what do you do? It's another one's in the oven. Let's take that out. It's sort of, sort of like this, but with programs. So, I'm going to start up Info Recorder. And we'll choose the main recorder. You can also use the Express. But this is the main interface of the program. We will click, we will find our file, which is in my documents folder, if I remember correctly. But anyway, I think once we find that file, which is right there, great. You can click file. Actually, rather actions and burn image. So once you find the file, which is Ubuntu dash eight point oh four dash test up slash I three eighty six, you click open and well it's not much to say here. Just make sure you burn at a good speed. Make sure you have a nice not cheap disk. Use brands that you trust. If you get a CD from a dollar store, it's going to be the same way from your local bargain bin. Make sure it's CDs don't have to be that expensive, but make sure they're good quality and brands you trust. Choose a good write speed. I normally just throw caution to the wind and get the maximum speed, but if you experience a bad disc multiple times, you should probably choose a reduced speed. Probably the re most reduced speed you can get. It will take longer, but you ensure that there's less chance of errors. So I have already prepared disk conveniently, and in the next video we will show you how to boot into the CD. Okay, have a great day.